Hello, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to a brand new video. And it's been about six days since we last produced the Deadman World video. And I don't want to keep you hanging too long before we jump into it. Uh, but some of you guys were concerned whether something was wrong with me or not. Not at all. I just took a bit of a break because I accomplished more or less everything I wanted to accomplish. And if there was something that I didn't have accomplished yet, well, we're gonna make sure to change that in today's video. So this video is gonna be all about rounding everything off, fully preparing off for the final hour. And on top of that, maybe some bossing, we'll see how it goes. But yeah, I do hope you guys will enjoy this video just like you did all the last ones. And let's jump right into it. Here we go, 68 fishing while editing and we can now access fishing guild. So you guys know how in the past two videos, I basically took a bunch of my own viewers, a bunch of people from CC, invited them over to Discord and went on God Wars trips with them. Well, unfortunately, this clan Vitality took advantage of the situation and they just joined the Discord, scouted our worlds and unfortunately killed us for a couple of Black Dehyde sets. And unfortunately, because of that reason, I decided to kind of change my idea of what I want to do for the rest of Deadman mode. So we didn't end up going to Zami, even though I wanted to create a video of just, you know, know killing Zami see how much loot we could get because I did one on Sara I did one on Arma I might do one on Zami and one on Bandos for the future but for this video that's not going to be the case well we have left this Sara sword in the grand exchange for about 3 million and it, it finally sold after like an entire day so we have another one to sell and we're gonna sell this one for 3 million and 500k let's see if it sells as well and we still have an extra one somewhere in here there we go, another Sara Hilt and two Sara Swords, so I technically have three more. Yeah, it's gonna take a while to, to sell all of those, but pretty nice. I'm just gonna make sure to take out the three million coins and make that into Platinum Tokens, so I know which ones I still need to split. Uh, but also, if you've paid any attention to the background, we now look like an absolute beast on our mule account. We have Scythe of Vitter on Deadman mode. Look how beautiful this looks, it's honestly crazy. I ended up training up to 75 strength on guards for a couple of hours to finally have these stats so I can equip this gear purely for fashion skip. If I die on deadman mode, there's two things in my mind that I instantly need to do. First thing that comes to my mind is are there any items on the floor that I still need to pick? If the answer is yes, I re-gear and go pick them up. If the answer is no, I look for a plan B. The plan B in this situation is to do quests and to get fire cape. The reason being, I want to do corp. If I want to do corp, I want to kill it as fast as possible. If I want to kill it as fast as possible, I need helm of need is not and I need fire cape. So this is now our next goal. And here we have it, fire cape accomplished. Oh, and for the people wondering, I started with 1,500 broad bolts. So I basically used what, 250 broad bolts. And I also used 40, well, well basically 36 diamond bolts. Let's just go in. Yo, no. <coughs> Come on, let's finish it. Four minutes kills is what's showing for us right now. We got 600 damage. He's gonna redemption it, they're redemptioning it. Oh, oh. I need to DP out, that's so sad. Oh, it was almost dead. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section, but I do believe the clan that's holding down Corp is actually fools. And they're using a very unique strategy and very smart strategy where they do have one account on the Grand Exchange with a lot of games necklaces and then they use a retribution and then they just protect their prayer. They run in with retribution and they keep suiciding over and over and over again, constantly trading that guy with games necklace and basically making it impossible. Um, for the team of our size to be doing corp. So very well played by fools. They ended up making us being pretty much unable to do corp. Using so much is because you're using augury too, right? Yeah, but I also don't have chaps. So you actually should be getting these skills more than me. Ah, but I'm 99, so it probably balances it out. Oh, that's you. Nice. I got achievement diary as well. Yeah. Oh, uh, pickers. Yep. Oh, well, I'm I'm pretty the odd. Oh! Ah. Uh, oh, well. Well, that's how it ends, I guess. It was fun. We got 5kc, 5, 5, 5, and 4. <laughs> oh, I see BA, man. Well. I have to get those back, but yeah, that def, not too big of a problem. I don't really always mule my entire bank, but I mule quite a little bit of it. Um, I still lost quite a little bit of stuff, though. Um, however, needed my barrows gloves back, 
Won't be going DKs anytime soon, I don't think. And we need to find a new thing to do. All right, so we did just die doing DKs. Therefore, me and Bell, we're gonna go ahead and complete Crystal Shield quest. Now, you may be wondering why I'm even gonna bother completing this quest as I will have a personal DFS. I do have it on my mule right now. See, the thing is... For the multi-stage, I think I'll be taking a crystal shield. I'm not 100% sure yet, but I think it uh, it will be something I want to do. So we're going to be completing crystal shield right now. And I think I'll be still doing Need is Not Quest at some point later on. I could go for Song of the Elves. I do have decent stats to do it. But I don't know if I want to go for the crystal helm. Especially as I will be breathing. So it's probably not even worth it. But I will consider it. But anyways, first off, crystal shield quest line. Let's go ahead and do it. First one on the list, Plague City. Done. Pretty late into the tournament, but if I read this, I'm now able to teleport to Ardy. You know, we might as well use it at some point. Second one on the list, Biohazard. Three quest points, a bit of thieving experience. Thank you very much. The next one on the list, Underground Pass. Shouldn't be a problem with 71 agility. You click and then you interface stall. You see this? Yeah, and, I see. And here we go, the underground pass is done. I do think they made this much easier, especially now you can like just start the next one already. Yeah, you see you can just straight up start a regicide. In the past you could like you literally needed to wait to get like a messenger or something like that. Well, now you legit just go and do it. So that's kind of cool. Uh, I'm probably going to go to sleep right now and do that tomorrow though. So now Yes, you're doing it. Nice. Oh. This is so OP, like that saves so much time, it's actually unfair. You click this twice, and then you wait for the green, and then you click this once, and then when it goes back you add another one. So you want to be before green, because you don't want to get into red, else it explodes. And that's it. And here we have it, probably one of the most annoying quests on Deadman mode, because you have to go through underground pass three times, but regicide is completed, 15k coins, some agility experience, thank you very much, and with that one, we can now complete the roving elves and claim ourselves the crystal shield. Now before I go ahead and do that, I want to do another thing in my house. And that is to pretty much buy every single useful teleport. I have shit ton of extra money on my mule. So I might as well do that now before it's too late. So this is our house before the renovation. We have a shitty altar. We have a glory. We have Barrow's uh, Salve and Battlefront teleports and Varrock, Falador and Lumbridge teleports. Let's do a little bit of a makeover. All right, the house makeover is complete. We spent about, what, 400k in coins and a bunch of money in runes. But it was worth it because now our house looks like this. We have a barrow, teleport, south graveyard, battlefront. We have cemetery. Um, that teleports me to wilderness if I want to farm ecumenical keys. We have Frankenstein castle if I want to go to do to slayer. If I want to go to Slayer Tower, we have Ardun Teleport right here. We still have our Save Zone Teleports, Varrock, Falador, and Lumbridge. And then we have the Camelot Teleport, the Drainer Manor Teleport, very helpful if I need to get more Avas Accumulators. Um, Karyl Portal, very useful, very close to the bank in Canifis. And then we have Mind Altar Teleport, it's right next to Goblin Village. Pretty useful if I want to do some quests in that area. And then West Ardun Portal as well. Um, I kind of don't need that one anymore because I have completed the quest that require me. Well, that would be useful for this one, but I still ended up making it. So our house looks absolutely gorgeous. Um, and it didn't really it didn't really cost us that much money either. So very useful thing to do, I'd say. And now the next things that we need to do is finish Crystal Shield quest line and also finish the Nit is Not Helm. And at that point, the account is pretty much fully done. The gear is fully obtained. All right, finishing the quest. I don't learn. Wait, what? They're leaving. What? I don't like running. Okay, let's see if I can still do the conversation. Shield, please. Oh, it worked. Even if they teleported. Thank fuck. <laughs> Anyways, uh, here we go. Roving Elves completed. Quest point done. And now we get the crystal equipment, which is what we did this for. Now, this is this one's pretty damaged. If you check, uh, it has five char 500 charges remaining. So what you can do is you can go in Nightmare Zone. And you can imbue it and then it's basically just as good as new. Uh, but we will be buying another one later on and we will be imbuing this later on. However, I do think I still want to complete the Neat is Not quest first. And I know there's going to be a lot of questions and I really don't want to forget about it. So I'll just show my alt account right now to you guys because yeah, I just don't want to forget about it at the end of the video or anything like that. So this is, this is my fashion scape. I just have scythe and third age and like dragon stuff. It looks really cool. 
Uh, but yeah, the most important things come from the inventory. This is just to resupply my friends if we are doing God Wars or anything like that. Let's say someone dies, I'll go to the bank, I'll pick up the full black dehyde set, throw them 9 brews, throw them like 4 restores and they can go right back. Um, then I have these bowstrings and stuff like that because on my other account I trained a bit of like woodcutting and fletching and stuff like that. But that doesn't really matter. The most important thing comes from down here. We do have full armadil. Um, that we will use. We do have the imbued heart, the arma crossbow. We have five sarasaurs. It doesn't really matter that much, but the most importantly, we have DFS. We have enough opal bolts to last us forever. We do have full carrels if we want a PVM or anything, but I'm definitely using arma. Um, also, on our main account, we should have full ancestral in the deposit box. That's also one of the things that a lot of people ask about. So we do have full ancestral. We do have VLS. We do have Sears ring, brimstone boots, one of the best boots to use. Um, we have an extra trident in there as well. Um, so as you can see, I pretty much have everything prepared for the final hour. We obviously have Rigor, we have Augury. Um, I didn't even realize I had an extra trident. Oh, and we have an occult as well. We can move this right here. I actually forgot I bought that earlier. And yeah, as you can see, we pretty much have everything we can ever need. Um, and the rest is pretty much to just resupply my members. Now, the one thing that I still need is Mage's book. Um, I don't think I can get it for 20 mil though. Let's just try. But that's like one of the last things that I need. I don't want to spend that much money on it. If I don't get to buy it for a reasonable price, I'll just get it myself. But yeah, for those of you wondering, this is what we are dealing with. We have a lot of money and uh, we are pretty much set for anything we decide to do. Here we go, we get to decide 10,000 experience in one of the skills. Unfortunately, we're already back, so we're doing this pretty damn late, but regardless, the most important part of this quest is we now have Helm of Need is Not, so we're pretty much gonna be using this helm for everything PVM relating, we're talking raids, we're talking um, corp, we're talking anything I decide to do pretty much, we're gonna be having this helm, uh, but I won't have it for the final, and that's also one of the reasons why I didn't go for it sooner, however, well, we have it right now, so uh, we might as well use it. And uh, yeah, this quest was pretty simple. Uh, so now the last thing that I need to do is just gather a bunch of nightmare points. So I'll pretty much get prepared for that and uh, do that next. And here we have it. We are relaxating in the nightmare zone. All we need to do is get about 650k more points. That's gonna take me like an hour or two more just chilling AFKing. Um, but yeah, let's take this last moment of this video to just talk about certain questions that I get asked all the time. And one of them is, why don't I PK? Well, the answer is simple. I actually do PK, I just don't decide to put it in a video simply because I know how much hate YouTube videos get when you PK on Deadman mode, which is totally hilarious, but I've done it in the past and I always get hate for it. Now, some of it comes from the fact that when you PK in Deadman mode, there are two options that you can do. Option number one is you PK in a large team and you pretty much have the safety to kill anyone anywhere if you're good enough. And then the second option is you PK alone, for example, like me, and you can't really go far away from banks. Now, if you don't go far away from banks, you do not find good kills. If you do stay around banks, there are either two, there are only two options of what people you will find. Person number one is another PKer, and you're gonna engage in a bank fight that's gonna last for hours long, just waste supplies, a lot of camping melee, a lot of 115 HP camping, and that type of PKing doesn't really interest me that much. I'm all about outlasting, and I can't really have that in Deadman mode, unfortunately. And then the other people that I can fight are defenseless people. And if I make a video, like a 10 minute video or a 20 minute video of me just killing defenseless people, I will get so much backlash for it that I just don't want to do it. Uh, but yeah, I, I had a, a bunch of kills this season. Maybe not a bunch, but I had a fair few, um, but I just decided not to post them. Uh, with that being said though, when it comes down to the 1v1s and the final fights, now that is different. That's the type of fighting I like, and because of that, I spent a lot of last week just straight up practicing. We're talking LMS, we're talking dual arena fights, I just want to practice to make sure I'm the best that I can possibly be in the 1v1s when those happen. If we even make it to 1v1s, that is. Alright, ramble is over. I do hope you guys did enjoy the video regardless. Uh, and if you have some spare time, go ahead and check out my second channel as well. If you've seen all the Deadman Mode videos, I do upload League of Legends content there quite often. But I will also upload all sorts of different games, whatever I feel like doing. So yeah, have a good one. I'll see you again very soon with another stream. And we'll see you soon with another video as well. Have a good one and bye-bye.